Hello students, how are you? I hope you all are fine. So this is a random video I thought of making for you, especially if you are preparing for judiciary exams. So Muslim law is very crucial for Delhi judiciary aspirants as well as Punjab and Haryana. One of the important topics in Muslim law is about divorce or talaq. So in a short video, I'll be telling you about this very important. Talaq in Muslims is basically of two types. Talaq ul sunnat and talaq ul biddat. Recently, Supreme Court has banned this form of talaq, talaq ul biddat, that is triple talaq. And uh, it is an offense now that we will be dealing afterwards. In this video, we will be dealing with talaq ul sunnat only. Basically, this is an approved form of talaq. Even Prophet Muhammad approved this form. And uh, talaq ul biddat is uh, not approved form, though it is, uh, it is prevalent in many Muslims. But even then, it is not the best form of talaq. It is a sinful form. But it is prevalent. But now, because Supreme Court has banned it, it is illegal to pronounce triple talaq in India now. As far as talaq ul sunnat is concerned, it is divided into two types. First is uh, a hasan talaq. And second is Hasan Talaq. Now what is a Hasan and Hasan? You see, if a pronouncement of divorce, that is Talaq, is made by the husband to the wife during a period of Tuhr, that is period of purity. What is period of Tuhr? Period of purity? It is that period of the month where the woman is not menstruating where the wife is not menstruating. You see, every female menstruates during a period in a month. So if the wife is menstruating wife, then during a period, if she doesn't menstruate, that period is period of purity. And during that period only, the husband can pronounce this, this ahasan form of talaq. So, this is known as the best form of talaq as far as others are concerned, others, other forms are concerned. For example, talaq, hasan and biddat. Talaq, hasan is the best form, best approved form. So, this pronouncement of talaq during period of purity or during the period of tuhar is only if marriage has been consummated. If already husband and wife had sexual intercourse they have consummated the marriage is consummated then only the husband can pronounce this type of divorce that is a hasan talaq during the period of tuhar or purity if the marriage is not consummated then even when wife is in her menstruation period then also the husband can pronounce this type of divorce but suppose if the wife is not uh, subject to menstruation, there are certain uh, conditions or there are certain uh, biological problems also during which we have medical problems in which it says that the wife is not subject to menstruation. Then he can pronounce uh, this form of uh, talaq uh, at any time during the month. Okay. But if she is menstruating, then he has to pronounce this uh, form of talaq only during the period of tohar, that is period of Purity, that is, when she is not menstruating. And once he has said this type of talaq, talaq e ahsan, that is, I am divorcing you, whatever he wants to say. There is no fixed language here. He can expressly say it. So, once he says this type of talaq, then he has to follow strict procedure and that procedure is he has to abstain from sexual intercourse with his wife for at least three months that is period of iddat so once he said talaq to his wife during the period of purity that is a hasan talaq then after saying this he has to abstain from sexual intercourse for at least three months that is period of iddat so, three months is basically the period of Iddat. So, during the period of Iddat, he has to abstain from sexual intercourse with his wife. <coughs> but, why this form is known as revocable form? Because during this period of Iddat, he can revoke this pronouncement. He can himself revoke it. So, 
तो दैट्स वाई इट इज नोन एज बेस्ट फॉर्म ऑफ तलाक ही कैन रिवोक दिस प्रोनाउंसमेंट ऑफ तलाक ड्यूरिंग द पीरियड ऑफ इद्दत दैट इज ड्यूरिंग दीज थ्री मंथस बट नॉट आफ्टरवर्ड्स आफ्टरवर्ड्स इट बिकम्स टोटली इरेवोकेबल सो दिस इज द चांस गिवन टू द हजबेंड ही कैन रिवोक हिस प्रोनाउंसमेंट ऑफ तलाक विद इन दीज थ्री मंथस ऑफ पीरियड ऑफ इद्दत as i have already said he can pronounce this uh, talaq during uh, by any any means by by you know one line or two words or whatever the main thing is he actually conveys his message to his wife in what form on, on which which language that's not important the thing is that the language should not be ambiguous language should not be ambiguous it should be clearly understood by the wife and revocation also if he wants to revoke that uh, pronouncement then also he has to revoke that in an expressed language clear language or if he doesn't want to say anything his conduct be such that it implies that he has uh, revoked his uh, this uh, pronouncement now how how we can judge that he has uh, revoked his pronouncement without he being saying anything he have said nothing uh, by his words expressly he he have haven't said anything he haven't said anything so by his conduct we can imply that yeah he has uh, revoked his pronouncement for example he has started sexual intercourse with his wife this is the clear example of implied revocation obviously if he has started consummating with his wife he has started sexual intercourse with his wife that it means that he has revoked this is the biggest sign of revocation so <clears throat> this is the best form talaq e ahsan is the best form of uh, divorce in muslims and uh, why it is known as best form because in this form there is only single pronouncement of divorce by the husband during the period of tuhur or during the period of purity and there is a chance of reconciliation between husband and wife he can revoke that pronouncement during uh, successive three months but after 3 months are over after the iddat period is over then he cannot revoke it so this is talaq e ahsan i hope you like this uh, short lecture i'll be uh, conveying certain message to you in the next lectures also so best of luck thank you